In today's video, we'll be looking at some of the scariest conspiracy theories that will shatter your reality. LeBarn James is the number one athlete LeBarn? in the body, and it takes about a five second Google search to see all of the hand symbolism that he uses. You never see he does use a lot of hand symbols. Covers it up. But his pregame ritual is what scares me the most. Pay very close attention mm. to see what he's doing with his hands. He points at what he believes in, does the Illuminati sign, and then the 666 with his hands. I mean, in a Kobe jersey, too. I'll get to that in another video. Ooh. The tattoo on LeBron's chest marks the Boulay Foundation. In a Kobe a jersey. Society where only the rich and famous can join, and you have to have a lot of loyalty. Yo. What? Oh, fuck! Words mean something. Okay, they're signs. Facts. Words mean something. We need to look at the signs that God gave us and say, hey, here's left and here's right. You dumbass, if you can't read, then go buy Hook Thorn Phonics. It's right there. It's a big ass. You seen the last my Bible. It's a big, big book. Big book for the instructions. That nobody want to fucking read and they get mad because as soon as you read it your eyes get more brighter and sharpener everything your soul your spirit everything come out of you everything start getting right every all the angels in heaven start getting happy and shit Next Yo, thing what you is know, all this in the background up, huh? who and wrote then, all that and, then, and, and, and all, all from a book it's not magic it's reality you know these instructions really work you know what i'm saying so that's where it is man Yo, I need that book that was in the background. If anyone could find out what that book was, whoever wrote that is, man, that was detailed. They had all type of stuff in there. Crazy. You know how every cereal box has a mascot? The Trix one, the Cocoa Puffs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit Loops, right? Mm -hmm. If you look really close, the mascots aren't looking straight. They're all looking down. It's known to make the characters make direct eye contact with the kids. Oh, because they're short. They're shorter to kind of engage them to oh, go shit. for that cereal. Oh. Honey Nut Cheerio, the one with the B. The extra what? short one has the mascot on it. The one with just the cereal bowl and the strawberries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No mascot. That's for the adults. The adult yeah. one, they have like the heart. The heart, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but no mascot looking at them in the shelves. The bottom two are more the uh, sugary ones. Oh, because it's easy to access. Read. The top ones are like the multi grain, like oh, shit. you're not trying to read. If you go to a convenience store, yo, you know, I'm about to check that out. Super oh. low, right in front of the cashier. When I'm with my mom or dad, they're paying for something at the convenience store. Yeah, I'm a little kid. What's right in front of me while I'm waiting? Candy, mom, can I yo. get this? Easy access, bro. I kind of already knew that one about the the candy though. I hate that. Weather balloon or Look UFO. At this UFO, dude. This is crazy. It's sitting here spinning. Port Orange, Florida. Daytona Beach, Florida. Wait a minute. Shit. When was this? That's definitely not the China balloon, spinning. is it? What was that? What was that? You'll never know. There's a wow. theory that the Grand Canyon holds something that none of us knew was there. So back in the 1850s, the Grand Canyon was used to mine gold. When people started mining it, the gold index crashed because they found so much gold there. The government and the military, they closed it off and they made it a sanctuary so that nobody can just go there and then take whatever they want. But there was this one guy, his name was Seth Tanner, and he was an explorer. He explored this one cave in the Grand Canyon and he claims what he saw was ancient egyptian hieroglyphics in one of the caves yes the sir is, the grand canyon it actually holds the lost gold city of el dorado yeah the whole city the man. whole city that ancient tale that all of the what? natives talk about yeah. the lost city the gold city never found the theory is that it's literally in the grand canyon deep in these caves mm -hmm. the reason the government and the world is trying to keep it a secret is because it would crash the gold price the supply and demand right yeah if they find a huge abundance of gold nobody's gonna care about it yo you guys ever seen those videos where like there's like caves in the grand canyon that you can't access it's kind of creepy isn't it like i mean this makes sense kind of goes along with it maybe there's gold in there
the World Economic Forum is urging the public, is urging everybody on the planet to only shower once a week oh! with plans of slowly but surely guiding everybody no. towards public bathing as a way oh, to yeah. save water and to save the planet. If you couple that with the fact that they also want us to like eat insects and bugs, it's just a weird dystopian future. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what do you think about eating like crickets and like cricket protein i've eaten crickets and worms before real no. crickets yeah they weren't alive they were cooked but still real, yeah, crickets, real crickets and real worms yes oh that's disgusting um, i think the worms they are these two twins crickets. because with the crickets you no. chew on it and you could just feel their legs oh, and their mouth dude. like broken yeah but, I, you know, I feel like I'm looking at the same person. Add flavor to the to the worms. I was about to ask, like, what seasoning do you put on the, like a worm? Um, what was I think it was like a chip huh flavor? Okay. And the crickets was like garlic. <laughs> garlic crickets. Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so gnarly, dude. Is that, I'm I'm very open. I'm good on eating bugs. Like, eating things. Yeah. But I don't think I'll eat crickets again. The worms maybe again if I like go to like Indonesia or like mm -hmm. I don't know. In, a, in an area where they eat that a lot but to make it an everyday practice and like eat it every single day i don't think so there's better yeah. protein options too y'all eating bugs so i know you know the song in the air tonight by phil collins right Come i can feel it, it coming in the air tonight so the thing about yeah, this song joint. that most people don't realize legend has it that phil collins was out with one of his best friends and they were swimming at a lake his best friend started drowning so phil collins didn't know what to do he tried to save him he couldn't get there so he runs out to the street to, to like flag down cars and stuff right so a bunch of cars go by nobody's stopping this one car stops see what's up with him he was like my friend is drowning can you please come and help me like and so they ended up just driving off so when they drove off he memorized their license plate number he then like found their address sent them in the mail tickets to his concert at the concert he like premiered the song legend has it that people heard this song and they ended their own lives because of it because they were they knew they realized this is about the time i drove away and i left that person there to die wow that would be wild if that's true see like multiple music people go on to the other side but you're not gonna tell me who? Is that Mari? Psychic Jeffrey Wands has been featured on my show. <laughs> wait, wait, pause. I didn't know Mari then upgraded to psychics. Like, I'm used to Mari saying, You are not the father. When it comes to one year old Zariah, Darius, you are not the father. He didn't upgrade it to psychic predictions now. Okay, Mari, let's check this out. So many times over the years. The female with the cancer, because like somebody who passed from cancer. Yeah, that was my godmother. You were very special to her, you still are. And today, Jeffrey's here to give his predictions for 2023. So what's in store next year? Well, 23 is worse. Really? Yes. Is that bad? I, it depends on how you look at it, if you're Republican or you're Democrat. Oh, so, you mean politically? <laughs> politically, it's going to be really bad. If you're flying out west in 23, you better make sure you have really good transportation because the weather stuff is going to be really insane. Oh, so the western weather is bad? Yeah. Okay. Well, Yo, I this has already I happened. You do. That's why I said, <laughs> that's why I said it. Britney Spears, I think, is heading for a divorce. So. Oh, that's sad. It's also a bad year for J-Lo and Ben, so I think she's going to have another marriage. I think they're going to end up breaking up, going back, and then finally breaking up. How do you know this, Jeffrey? Because I, I get impressions, and for some reason, this morning when I woke up, I happened to hit uh, the phone, and on my phone came up like an old J-Lo memory, and I'm like, boom. I do think we're going to be in some sort of conflict in the Middle East in March. Also, the economy is definitely going to be very March is like two months March away. July. 23 is a bad year for music stars. You're going to see like multiple music people go on to the other side. But you're not going to tell me who? Um, I don't want to say it that way, but I would say there's going to be four major people. Two are young and two are older. And it's going to be like within a four week period. So four people are going, four musicians are going to pass on. For too old, too young, within four weeks. Four, four, four. What? I just want to rock. Body, yada, yada. I just want to rock. Body, yada, yada. Do you know that it's living rent free? I can't get it out. 
You did she that. ain't lying. Yeah, it's hypnosis. <laughs> yeah, it's hypnosis. It's hypnosis. No wonder that song's so viral. Because he doesn't even say anything in the whole song. That he's guilty? No. So you don't think he did it? I don't think he did it. And oh, snap. All the time that you've known him, she got reptile slits. You never right there on Dr. Phil? Oh, snap. No evidence of any erratic behavior. You have nothing that in the would open with indicate it, like, that in the open? he would be capable what? of doing something like this, would have any in motivation to do something. Yeah, how can Dr. Phil look at her without saying something like, you got cat eyes, reptile eyes. That's crazy. Jay-Z not offering Beyonce a drink while the camera was on. There's no way you don't get to hold your Grammy in your hand and celebrate that. And the queen is officially in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, Beyonce knows. I mean, what's up with that? Like, it was just a drink. I was kidnapped by aliens over 15 years ago. What? With Mike? They couldn't pass up. I was taken away to another planet. While a fake was no, no, place. no way. What? A plan to take over the world. Are you? What? And that's a commercial? No wonder. America are misinformed. Reality shows have warped okay, Jim idea Carrey. of what a hero is or what the truth is. So tonight, mm -hmm. I'd like to dedicate this award to those who remind us of our virtues, who remind us of the truth. Sir Charles Chaplin, who battled McCarthyism into exile, to Christopher Steele, who tried to pull a thorn out of the paw of an ungrateful beast, to Christine Blasey Ford, to Colin Kaepernick. He'll stand for the anthem when the anthem stands for him. And to one of my Ooh. friends, my good friends, and one of the greatest artists of our time, Robert De Niro, whose life was threatened also this week, along with many other incredibly decent people who bring joy to the world, who've been dedicated to it for years, for decades. How dare they besmirch those people? Ain't that right, Jim Carrey? You tell them. Hollywood comes from the holly tree. And the ancient Druids, back in the day, used to take the holly tree, make wands to weave spells, cast spells, oh, or channels. So the movies and when they are needed help, putting spells on us. The magis or the mediums of the day to help channel their spells to the population. We'll cut mm. to the day. What do we have in our houses? We have these black box television. Today. TVs. But if you stop Te and you say the word tell a vision. Tell a vision. Television. And when you turn on oh, that snap. television, what do you get? What's the first thing that pops up? A list of channels. And so they channel and spells through us. What's on those channels? Programming. They oh, programming. so they programming us through the channels. Your whole life. You don't even know it. Mm. That's messed up, man. <laughs> we just getting programmed so our whole life. At the Grammys, right? This is what we do? Yeah. We What's Sam like Smith on, on man? <laughs> you, oh my gosh. Then he had to throw up the That whole performance was crazy. Because, like, come on. It's, they're literally throwing it in our faces. Like, they're throwing it. They're playing with us. They literally. Just, it's art. It's provocative. No, this is Satanism. <laughs> Then we had Jay Z and DJ Khaled, Lil Wayne, all of them there. God did performance, mm -hmm. blasphemy. And y'all know I'm not even religious, so if I'm saying something, this is a problem. <laughs> Everybody's verse started off with what God did. Here he comes talking about Hove did, because you know, Jehovah, he thinks he's Jehovah God. Like, Jehovah. Je what? And he compared himself to Jesus, Jehovah. Saying that Jesus turned water into wine and he turned crack on the stove into wine, into champagne. Like, what? Cardi pulled up with a one eye symbolism per usual rep in. That's like the oh, normal now. Nah. Smith posted about his Grammy performance. CBS commented and said, You can say that again. We are ready to worship. Worship who? Worship. And then when people were like outraged after seeing it, they deleted their comment. Like, if they didn't know what the performance was going to be. You guys know that these things are planned ahead of time, right? They like do rehearsals, they clear the script. Mhm. Mm they knew. Just like they knew that year when Nikki did the Roman Holiday <laughs> performance, they knew. So to say that she is uninvited from the Grammys and she can't win a Grammy because of that performance is crazy because it had a whole movie before the Oh, please. 
They knew. They always know. They're all in cahoots. They always Listen, know. Always. Sure Beyonce don't win that album of the year. <laughs> we can't forget Quavo with the one eye symbolism after that major mm. sacrifice and the nice tribute. Mm -hmm. But stay safe. Don't let them harvest your energy. Yo, she came with them heavy hitters. I'm definitely. That was a lot. Well, I want to put this up really quick for people because I know that Jaguar right said so Jay Z had her car blown up. What? What's up with Jay Z? I'm gonna just throw this on the screen. He been on the last two conspiracies. Um, so people know that. Now he been on like three in this um, video. This is let me add it up here. Legit. So as you all see here, firefighters have extinguished first alarm. It's near uh, Cape Creek Road, Dunlap. Uh, crews arrived to find an active fire. Um, in the Manchester Large Mall, uh, no injuries reported. In the so, with no injuries being reported, um, and okay, so nobody got hurt. Um, it was no one was. The in car the just car, blew up, and there was damage done. And the the fire was outside of the building; it wasn't inside um, of the building. What's the backstory so, on this so with Jay Z and Jaguar? Fire, right um, inside of a vehicle hmm. at a strip mall. The same thing that Gooba states. Gooba states that it happened at a mall where he left his car. Um, not that like he literally left the car there on fire. He's saying that he left it um, in a mall. So what people are saying, can you put up pictures um, and stuff like that? I will also state this earlier. I was on the phone with Jaguar Wright, Patricia and the official King Payne. And they were at the yard where the car was being held. They were yep. not allowed to see the vehicle because from what I'm gathering and from what the conversation I was listening to it is the car is being kept as evidence. Yep. And so, um, Again, there was damage done to the building, you know, and, and other stuff. So again, Dang, my boy really had the car blew up, though. They did not release the vehicle to them, and the vehicle is destroyed. So it's not like they could pull out the lot with it or anything like that either. And you can't get the vehicle without. He on some Scarface type the stuff. Inside of the vehicle, like most people leave the registration in the vehicle. They don't have it in their purse or keep it in their wallet or in their pockets. Um, that's something that stays in the car. So, um, and it is Friday. So with it being Friday, um, insurance appraisers and whatnot, they are still working and whatnot, but there's not much that can be done until right. Monday. Right. So um, This conspiracy are, going deep. They're they talking about Friday. Ooh, it's a business day. You gotta wait till the next exactly. business day. No one knows exactly where you are. Insurance and registration <laughs> in your pocket. <laughs> How long is this video? How I'm long can TikToks afraid. be? Sean Carter. Ooh, and she caught him by his gut. The truth about the moon landings. Uh, what was the scariest moment of the journey? The truth about the moon landing. Huh? Scariest. It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Certainly. Do y'all think the moon landing happened? Or did you guys it not need happen? to watch this video of Cat Williams talking about Kevin Hurt? Um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now it's we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah, I've exactly. never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so now I'm that's, saying, that's why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. Mm -hmm. Some of us are against the Illuminati, and we are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati. Do y'all believe in the Illuminati? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. I'll leave it for you guys to decide. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is Cat Williams t speaking some truth right here? We're only a minute in and we already got some decent conspiracies. Let's go. And they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them and nobody likes them. End quote. And we all love Dave Chappelle. Exactly. Dave Chappelle has never been a Dave Chappelle is one of the ghosts. Like I used to grow up watching Chappelle show, me and my brother, and the Chappelle show was like one of the most funniest shows that you could watch as a kid, Harry. Chappelle's legendary. Let's see what he's got to say about Chappelle. Part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. 
The Disturbing Japanese Legend Iceberg. This picture contains a list of urban legends from the least disturbing to the most. Today we're going to be talking about or better known as the Answer Man. This is a newer urban legend that honestly you could try at home if you're brave enough. It starts with 10 people sitting in a circle and each person calls the individual to their left. Everybody presses call at the same time so naturally some people's calls don't go through but that's when the Answer Man picks up. The Answer Man picks up the phone on the other line and you are able to ask one question and he has to give you the right answer. And this question could literally be anything you can think of. After you ask your question, the answer man then will ask one of his own. And here's the thing, if you get his question wrong, a hand is supposed to come through the screen and- Quit playing. They talking about a hand come through this the screen? What's his, his answer man? The answer man. I've never heard of the answer man before, but this is crazy. The answer man. So his hand comes through the screen, you gotta answer his phone, his, his questions correctly. Nothing like some good old conspiracies in the morning, right? rip a limb off your body so tag nine other people who are down to play this game Whoa. with you because i for sure will not what? play this one make sure to like and follow for more videos scariest conspiracy theories cool. in the world that will seriously ruin your life this list shows all the conspiracy theories from the most normal ones we all know to the dull yo you see that list come on that's like yo so many conspiracies out here Darkest of the dark that will change the way you literally see the world and of course in this series we're going to be going from the top all the way down to the bottom. Come back, let's go for part two. The Titanic didn't hit an iceberg. So what did it hit then? What did the Titanic hit if it did not hit the iceberg? What was it? We all know about the Titanic, of course, the really famous ship that sunk, and it's commonly believed that it hit an iceberg, but this might change your mind. Right. This is mental. There was, of course, survivors of the Titanic, and a lot of them were interviewed. Not one of them mentioned anything about an iceberg. What's crazy is a few yeah, people a did say that there was a fire. Hmm, interesting. Now go and look at this. Before the ship even sets sail, you can see a burn area in the photo. And it's actually the engine and boiler room right there. And if there was a fire in there, that's not ideal. Oh, snap. At all, but it was actually an inside job done by people such as the Rothschild family, which I will make a video on later in the series. The main theory that is very believable has something to do with this burn mark. Now the theory is there was a fire so they saying it set on fire? It didn't even hit an iceberg? That just blows my mind. Changes my whole childhood right there. It did hit this iceberg, and if there wasn't a fire, it would have been completely fine. Everyone would have just not even realized. But due to the hull and the ship already being weakened from the fire, that's what made it sink. I mean, that's a very believable theory. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Facts. Let me know what you guys think. Is that believable or not? I mean, it, it makes sense. I can't even lie about that part. It definitely makes sense. And make sure you hit that follow button, because it's gonna get crazier, obviously. World's most dangerous conspiracy theories. This picture contains a list of conspiracy theories from the most well-known to the dark. So everyone Welcome keeps using that same Today we're gonna be talking about theory. the strange berry picker disappearances. God, that's a mouthful to say. In 2011, strange a man named David, David wrote a book picker. called Missing 411. The book covers all of the most unsolved cases of people going missing in national parks. Some people would just wander off the trail, some would fall into the river, and some people didn't even know they were missing. Do you want to know? I mean, that just sound like a bunch of goofy people out there hiking. Like some people went over a trail. They went, you know, they just didn't know they were missing. But yo, imagine hiking, right? Somewhere, right? And then you just start seeing crazy stuff everywhere, right? And then you don't even notice where you at. You're like, where am I? And then you just lost. Like you in a whole nother realm or a whole nother dimension or something. Yo, that's crazy. What all of these people had in common right before they went missing? They were all picking berries. Stay with me, stay with me, it's about to get crazy. One case is six-year-old Lillian Carney, and in 1897, she went missing right after she was picking berries. According to her parents, she was here for one second and gone the next, almost like she just vanished. They notified the police, like and around midnight, which was 12 hours later, they found her miles away from where she originally was, and they found her in a dazed trance. It gets even weirder. Police then start to question her on how she she went missing thinking maybe the parents had something to do with it. The little girl didn't even remember walking, which is crazy because she was miles away from where she originally was at. On top of that, she said the sun shined all the time, which would be impossible because it was midnight. Now this didn't happen just once, but- Yo, so she went into a whole trance where the sun was just constantly shining? 
and it's midnight pitch black and you think the sun's out? You don't even know that you walked a whole mile and a half? Like, has anybody ever tried to walk a mile? Like, that's a long way to go. And she walked a mile and a half and did not know. Don't pick berries. This has happened over 50 times. So are these people just mysteriously going missing in the woods? Or is there something darker here that we don't know about? Make sure to like and follow for more videos. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. Part 11. Today we are talking about time loops. This is mental and very, very confusing. Yo, I'm all into like time. Time is crazy to me. Like. I don't even know what time really is. It's just made up. If you think about it, like you got 12 hours, you got, you know, 60 minutes, you got 60 seconds and so on. And, you know, someone just created those numbers and said, hey, here's time. But I don't really know what time actually is. So let's get into this conspiracy theory. This one's probably pretty decent. Seen films such as Groundhog Day, Palm Springs, or Dark or anything, you kind of get the gist of this, where people are kind of stuck in a time loop reliving the same day again and again and again. Like things like Groundhog Day, Happy Death Day, all of that kind of stuff. What if this actually exists in real life? The theory is maybe there are some kind of wormholy weird places on Earth that connect interdimensionally with parallel universe. I told you it was confusing, didn't I? Now, if you don't know parallel universes, the universe is the same as ours, where things play out differently. But maybe there are actual things like this out there. So it kind of thinks of it as if, like, a black hole, but on Earth. And maybe when you enter this, it kind of freezes time, so you're just stuck on your own. Almost like in your own bubble, just going through the same day again and again and again. I mean, it's mental and a crazy theory, but I mean, if you think about certain explanations for it, it kind of could be possible. But it's still me. The childhood conspiracy theory iceberg. This picture represents conspiracy theories that will change your childhood forever. As always, make sure to join the Discord for the full list. This is tier one. Mrs. Puff is a psychopath. We've all seen SpongeBob and we've all seen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miss Puff, a psychopath? You talking about SpongeBob's driver's education lady? Like. How is she a psychopath? I mean, I know she hates Spongebob. Maybe Spongebob turned her into a psychopath. He probably like gave her PTSD from crashing her little boat car so many times. And now she's a psycho. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and get into this one. Mrs. Puff before. On the episode titled No Free Rides in Season 2, Mrs. Puff says this. What have I done? Everyone will know that I let him slide through school. I'll have to move to a new city, start a new boating school with a new name. No. Not again. This is Yo, she said not again. Meaning she's done that before. So she's in Bikini Bottom and she's a teacher there. And she let SpongeBob slide. So she's talking about moving to a whole nother city or whatever. And she says not again. Does that mean that Miff, Miss, I can't even say it, Miss Puff has done this before? That would be wild. Hinting that Mrs. Puff has changed her identity before, and I promise this gets worse. In season 12, episode 21, SpongeBob is helping her organize some of her junk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Season 12, episode 21. What's up with those numbers? And he comes across a newspaper that says, deranged boat teacher makes getaway. So the real question remains. Nobody gonna talk about the fucking sinkhole that they found in Japan? Fuck yeah, we finna talk about that shit. <laughs> so they found this sinkhole in China that was 192 meters deep. This dude named Chen Lexin, who led the expedition team all the way to the bottom of the sinkhole, which took them hours, by the way, said that when they got to the bottom, the grass was shoulder length high. Now I'm six feet tall, but let's just say the average cave explorer was like 5'6 to 5'8. My God, that's still tall as fuck. Large enough to hold the Washington Monument and the length of about three football fields long. <laughs> Bro, this shit crazy. The most interesting thing that we know so far is that they found prehistoric trees that were 130 feet tall, bro. Prehistoric. My nigga, that's old as fuck. Look, all I got to say is this is an amazing time to be alive because I've been uncovering stories like this left and right, and I know y'all have too. I don't think this is a coincidence. I think that God is orchestrating this shit. He uncovering all types of shit, man. Aliens finna come back. We finna find the city of Atlantis. I'm here for it. I think, I think everything he said about to come to light. For real, for real. Disney princess is supposed to represent a disorder. Psychologists took a study down yeah. and they said in every Disney princess, there's like a clear disorder that they have. Ariel, if you notice, Ariel has a big ship and there's so much things around her. So she's a hoarder and that's a form of OCD. Is that OCD? Oh, yeah, she has so much stuff in her ship, but mm. she doesn't throw it away. Easy one, Alice from Alice, in, Alice Wonderland. in Wonderland. What do you think she has, bro? She sees caterpillars walking around with oh, eyes. Oh, she has schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Belle, she was captured and put in a castle, right? So 
this is called Stockholm Syndrome. That means you fall in love with your captor. She captor, fell in love with the, the bees, bees because he was the only one exactly. there. Oh. Elsa and Anna, they're really reckless. Oh, Elsa has bipolar. Yes, Elsa <laughs> yeah, has yeah, bipolar. Hundred percent. I, yeah. I just saw that on fly. Elsa and Anna, warm to cold, bipolar. Damn. Yeah. Disney be on one with these movies, don't they? I told y'all, baby Sasquatch. Nev, what? <laughs> Yo, what is that? <laughs> Did he catch a bird? What? Yo, where he find this video at? Whoa. That baby Sasquatch. That baby Sasquatch. Did you know that Prince had this belief that the elevator was the devil? The and elevator? He was found dead in an elevator from an apparent prescription overdose. Mm. He fought for the rights of his own music and won only to die almost two years to the day later. An eerie story about his friend. Mm. One thing that you know, kind of spooked me about it all uh, was, um, here's a song called uh, Let's Go Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it says, don't let the elevator bring us down. Uh, One time when I was with him privately, he said, you know what the elevator is, right? No. I said, no, what's the elevator? He said, well, the elevator is the devil, right? It scared me. I don't like to talk like that, but he said that. And so for me, it was like some really haunting when I read that he was found in an elevator. That's crazy, ain't it? No more elevators for me. Yo, we taking the stairs from now on. This mother, Straight she up. had a son. He was only like three years old. She was driving on the road and her son was talking to her, but she wasn't paying attention. Her son had a stutter. And all of a sudden, the mother heard the son say, no, Tanny, listen to me. Almost as if like he became somebody else and was able to say that. Now the mother was shocked. You know why? Why? The mother, her name isn't Tanny, but Tanny is the nickname that only her brother would call her. Oh, no. Nah. And her brother passed away four years ago. Mm. So that son, he would have never known that name what's crazy she was talking to the son and he pretty much said i remember seeing this spy plane because dad took me to go see this spy plane right and she said oh did you i don't remember dad taking you out for that so she asked her husband did you take him out to go see some planes it's like nah I, I didn't so she called her father she asked him did you take out our brother craig to go see spy planes <laughs> Yo, like he was reincarnated. There's a new facility him. growing artificial like babies, and this is what oh. it can mean for our future. This new facility is called Ectolife, and it may be bigger than we all think. And the reason why is because this is over 30,000 babies this. can be born from this facility per year. Meaning in the future, half the population will be artificially born in this lab. These pods will also be hooked up to each baby. So these pods will literally be tracking everything before the child's born. Now, the first thing I thought about was the matrix. matrix. And if you don't remember, everybody was living a fake reality in these pods without even realizing it. So is it possible that Ectolife can be the beginning of that future? Let me know in the comment section what you think. And not only that, there's an app connected to these pods so all the data from this baby will be sent to your phone allowing you to even watch it grow live now right now it's only going to be available in japan bulgaria and south korea but i wouldn't be surprised if this becomes normal across the world and there's a whole lot more technology connected to these pods so if you want to know everything these pods are able to do leave a like on this video and comment part two y'all stay conscious that's crazy man these incubator babies tmz's report true dwi that was wild no otherwise i'd be in jail was she trying to set me up? Yep, there's a lot of people there's here that Aaron are being there trying to set me up. I'm not going to mention any names, but the police are involved and the FBI are involved, so it's fine. When all I did was protect that girl, all I did, oh, now she says, oh, I don't care anymore. I'm not, leave me alone, Melanie. She just told me that you're going to die. <sighs> wow. Fuck that. Mm. Yo, and then he died right after this. Remember that one boy? Now listen to this. I have to tell you this, okay? So after I left the party, and the next day I smoked weed with Michael, and then I get I get in the limousine and I leave. I get back to the sheriff's hotel at Universal. There's four FBI agents waiting for me Ooh. in the hotel room. And my mom's there and she's like, tell them what happened. And I'm like, what do you mean tell them what happened? And I sit down with them and they all get asked these super sexually exploited questions backsided questions and I knew that at my age already and I looked at all four of them and I said 
are y'all crazy? I said, what you think I'm going to do? Tell you that Michael did something bad so that we, we can sue him for money? I looked over at my mom and I was like, are you serious, mom? I was like, what is going on here? Why are you letting this yeah, happen? Set him up. She goes, well, she goes, oh, well, I think something happened. I'm like, really? That man did nothing but be hospitable, kind, loving. You need rehab? Like serious rehab? No, no. no. Not at all. Okay. Not for what? You know, um, clean I, five years. Yeah, you know, clean five years. You know, I, I don't really smoke weed anymore. Origin of the Christ. My boy it's Bobby Hemmett. You have a soul. Your soul is inside of your body. And for all intents and purposes, it is asleep. It is at a dead level. And it's dormant. When the soul rises to its complete potential and sets up its dominancy into the illuminating process of what a soul is supposed to be, that my friend is called Christos, Christ, Christ. So we're talking about an attainment coming from the alchemical process of something fermenting or transforming into something of another level. And they have taken that and made it into a historical person. And so you are taking an attainment or a process in which the soul does. Is it not written in your law that ye are God and the scriptures cannot be broken? John chapter 10, verse 34, 36. And you have taken that particular principle and someone has stepped in and historicalized it by taking a historical figure or a human story of a person and taking the attributes of what Christ does, which is in every person, and it made it exclusively one man and got you worshiping the person. Yo, if y'all don't already know who Bobby Hemmett is, yo, this is one of the greatest metaphysical thinkers, teachers that you can ever come across. So look him up on YouTube, Bobby Hemmett, or go to Serious Times Media, for real. Hey. Everything is connected. I am you, you are me, we are we, brother. There is no separation. I'm here having a conversation with myself. This is God talking, this is God talking to God. I mean, like I said, you're just a... And your consciousness, you've just been brought up with different, different beliefs from, from your parents, from your teachers, mm -hmm. from everything that you've consumed through your senses. But like I said, you know, um, we're spiritual beings living, having a physical experience. We're not physical mm -hmm. beings occasionally having spiritual yeah, experiences. Yeah, right. The um, matter that makes me up is the same matter that makes you up. Absolutely, and you have mind over that matter. You have the power to control that matter and manifest whatever the, you want in life. My guy was dropping them gems, for real. Look at the dude eyes in the back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell this me y'all see that. Live TV. What's up with now, these slit I eyes? I know some of y'all gonna say, contacts. But let's be real. Who walk around with these type of contacts? Y'all think them contacts? Like, who would even want to wear that? Like he just said. Them ain't no contacts, man. That's, I don't know what that is. Yes. No one. I never seen no one in my life walk around with them contacts. Mm. Things that bother you, they oh, never Fredo, bother me. Be too. Oh, no, 200 children? 200? Haven't got a lot, I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. She getting out too, etc. That's crazy. There's a theory that in Home Alone, Kevin, he was actually left at home on purpose. No yeah, because they didn't like him, no? Not just because of that. The theory goes, his father, he owned that huge house. He wasn't actually able to afford that place and all the excursions and things they do. Kevin, being the one child, the whole family, they just thought he was a runt. They didn't really like him. Remember in the beginning of the movie, Kevin's dad was talking to the police officer. Yeah. And it's almost as if he knew who he was already and they were having a friendly conversation yeah. yo the mom was the only one that really cared about kevin the mom was the one that's like kevin where's kevin yeah. remember uh -huh. there he goes the father he hired the burglars to go and do a robbery to claim on the insurance also to claim insurance on kevin's death whoa when they killed him hey uh y'all think that's real home alone though i think that pops was trying to set up kevin that kind of just ruins my childhood if that's for real. But I can see it though, like on the dark side of it. Like, I can definitely see in that being a real thing. 
got to like right at the end african rapper where, exposes uh, the you know, industry a, a young lady two. was telling me a young lady who i happened to date at the time her name was crystal and she listened to my music and this was while i was living in new york and she says wow you know you can really blow up you can you know you really have the skill to do this thing and she was like um i know why you haven't blown up yet you're not a part of the brotherhood so mm. she took me to a santeria priest so that i can be initiated into the brotherhood and after that you know you really blow up and santeria is big in 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 uh music business in america santeria. i mean there's there's big names in santeria there's you know jennifer lopez her Ooh. ex-husband i mean just there's big names in santeria and and you know satanism generally if you look behind the scenes and in, in celebrityhood it's, it's a form You're of letting witchcraft. it all out, ain't it's just a form of witchcraft the, you know hell has many entrances many different religions many different um ways that you can sell your soul or many different ways to compromise that's why in christianity they say there's only one way through jesus christ but to hell there are many entrances there's only one entrance to heaven and that's jesus but hell has very many entrances so santeria is just one of them you know the music industry is another one the what's going on in santeria you know there's so many different that's crazy right i gotta look into santeria now what's a conspiracy theory that absolutely blows your mind i've got to warn you this is gonna jerk some tears so when the fresh prince of bel-air will is dead for the entire series never that fight that he had on the basketball court he was How? actually murdered bel-air is a metaphor for heaven what with it being this nice palatial pristine place and the banks are actually his ancestors who have been dead but they were rich when they were alive yo this and is crazy mission is just to guide will in the afterlife all the ways for him to be a better soul being that he did die from street violence and all those wow. moments in the series where his mother visits him in bel-air is actually his mother visiting his grave and in what is wow. probably Never. the sitcom episode ever this is crazy when will's dad visits him in bel-air that was his dad trying to make one last reconciliation with his dead son he just couldn't handle the fact that he wasn't there and now Will's gone and he'll never see him again. So he finally bids his last farewell. But yeah, Will was dead for the entire series. It's a level of Yo, that just blew my mind. It's a door. That's when you're platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've about? been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's mm. homo or if it's Illuminati. I just didn't take that, though. I went you, straight. What door are you taking? Listen, this is, this is, when, you get to, when you get to a level of success, when you're getting 30, 40, 50000 a show, you platinum, you're running across the world. There's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways. So there's to three now. To the left, there's to the right, and then there's straight. To, straight is your own your own let's see if you continue this success young man let's see if it's all about your mm -hmm. skills young man let's really see that okay. you went straight to the right i'm not sure if that's the home shit right there and then there's to the left i'm not sure if there's some sacrifice going on right there i'm not sure this is I went crazy straight. but i was offered these doors this is your offer I, I, <laughs> What door y'all think Nori took? No, 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 no. I, I'm saying that. He says he was the off right, at the door. I seen it. Dill, those was those guys over there. I just chose to go straight, and I haven't been platinum. My boy got a whole number one podcast out here now. Which door you think he took? Shirley Temple exposes the Shirley Hollywood. Temple. It's a lot of people trying to expose the elite. Right, so how about producers and directors and all the stories we've heard about? The music industry hey, crazy. Kid, well, just being famous, just being famous at that. This you know, one, know one guy when I left Fox. I went to MGM for one picture, thank goodness, only one. And when I got there with my mother, we were separated. She went into the office of Louis P. Mayer, and I went into the office of Arthur Freed. And he was going to talk to me about a, a movie he wanted to put me in. I'm 12 years old, you know. And I thought he was a producer, but instead he was an exhibitor. And I'd never seen anyone naked before except myself. Uh, yeah, it's so some I had crazy no clue stuff going on. About what was happening. And um, so it struck me so funny, I laughed at him. And I laughed uproariously. I had tears, you know. And he got infuriated. And he said, out, 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 go. Did so you I, tell your mother? Well, I went down. It was very quiet. I went down and met her in the lobby of Weinstein's decades. That's crazy. You'd be all type of pedo stuff going on in the, in the industry. Secret. As far as we know, though, all of Weinstein's accusers were of legal age when the alleged incidents occurred. But there is Hollywood's oh, now they saying they are legal age. victimizes the most vulnerable children. And someone who's spoken out about this and is painfully aware is former child star Corey Feldman. 
you freeze. You're you're in shock. Or you fell, man. Not what was he on? to handle that sort of stuff. I can I tell you that know. the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's it's the big secret that's yeah. really not a secret anymore. I'm surrounded by them. Corey Feldman but people ain't really acting on it. He and his good friend, the late Corey Haim, were victims of molestation when they were young actors. Mm. Last year, he opened up to our Alex Hudgens. Why didn't Kids you are scared. Them? You know, kids don't think I'm going to go. First of all, for me, the person that was doing it to me the most, you know, um, well, I mean, I could say that the, the two people that did it to me were both close two. friends of mine. Mm. Or so I thought. In his book Choreography, he alleges that Ham was raped on the set of the 1986 film Lucas. The following year, 1987, their film The Lost Boys came out. It was when we were both on the set of Lost Boys that, you know, things were happening to both of us, you know, not from anyone on the set, I might I clear that up, but, you know, outside elements. How did people not know when these are two, or, or did they know and they just weren't doing anything about it? Right. I mean, I know he told a lot of people. That's the thing that's so upsetting to me. It's not like it's just me that knows this story. Other people so it's a big cover-up. Huge cover-up for this pedo stuff. That's crazy. For uh, bad I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning. What X talking and about? And pulling over on the highway. We like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And I said, you know what? This has to be God's country. You know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. That's then I met up. the devil Oh. in God's country. It's oh, not so much who, that switched up real quick. What, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he he acts through people. You know, you can't call right. one person the devil. Right, you know, you right. can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because He's no one person right has now. enough power to be the devil. No, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back for a show. I'm not coming back for a visit. I, I'm, I'm not even driving through the states. If I'm in a plane and they got to fly over, I'm going to go around, okay? What I do, baby. <laughs> Speaking of facts. Me, my sister was talking about yesterday. So he was talking about the Grammys and how, uh, what's that boy named? Sam Smith did that performance with Unholy. Mm -hmm. And we all know that that was a ritual. We all know that what DJ Khaled and Jay-Z did was a ritual. But Rituals. this is what me and my sister was talking about. So, Left you know how right. they have all these award shows at the beginning of the year? And they have these people come and do these performances, which are, you know, actually rituals. And, you know, in order to do these rituals, you have to have some kind of energy exchange. So what if mm. they're literally purposely having all of these award shows? And like even with Beyonce's concert that's coming. What if literally they have all right. of these happen at the beginning of the year purposely to set the tone for the rest of the year as far as setting these ritual rituals and that getting energy exchange from everybody? They purposely do it to distract us from all of the world events that are going outside of America. Like, everybody's so concerned about Beyonce's tickets right now that I don't think half of y'all even realize that literally half the world is in protest right now. They are fucking shit up. Straight There's up. Riots I didn't even going know. Around. Police That's crazy. is wilding, hurting people. Y'all even got monks rioting and protesting. The banks are failing because they're trying to change their money system. And left and right, you guys keep getting these things thrown at you, like with this whole Balenciaga um, mm -hmm. situation that happened. Nobody talked about it that much. Not Ooh. even a celebrity. I'm just saying, Ooh, like, so dumb. do y'all think that? Y'all agree with me? I don't know. I'm just talking. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Where they protesting at? Y'all let me know in the comments. <laughs> Hip-hop artist uh, exposes industry parts. The y'all might be in for y'all show, man. This shit like, this shit real talk. I can say this because I'm a real Some of these can't say this because they already know about that goddamn tape. They on that tape. That tape? They can't say about that. But I mean, they, they pry on weaknesses because we so happy they about to sign shit. Now they done told you come to a mansion party. I be hearing about them out. parties. You gonna feel like this is my family. I'm with these now. You smoking on some shit. You know, man, drunk some shit. You know, forgot everything. Mm. Just like this cam on right now. You don't know what the f*** went on until they show you that tape. 
Dave Chappelle That's was decapitated up. in front of us. Then when he made $500 million, God. they said even though his contract said he should get half of it, they said he made too much for the contract to be valid. So we'll offer you 10% of what you made. You mean he made $500 oh, no, million? No, and no, 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 10%? Yes. And he said, what do you think my fans are going to say? When they find out you offered me 10% of what I made you and they said your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. And my nigga got on the flight in LA and by the time he got to Ohio, it was wow. so. That's crazy. The industry, industry wild. Wanted to rewatch Rihanna's performance, but then I noticed something. What you notice? It's that Super Bowl halftime performance. Ill Umanti huh? symbol? Mmm. She throwing up the rock. Bumble Cloud, watch a mermaid at Suat Suat. Bumble Cloud, they done found Ariel. A lot of people asked me to do this video to see if that it look was real. fake. I personally think that it was real. You can tell by the setting that there's no CGI or none of that. It, it was it was real. You seen the movie Luca, Disney they don't lie they're slowly letting us know there's people down there oh they're yeah luca they're gonna want wakanda to forever in reality and you guys little mermaid see. you just wait gotta pay attention to the movies for real the big surprise is coming a thousand times oh, an alien invasion an operation to stage uh, a, a threat from outer space the alien invasion and they could hit a button. This is probably going on right now. And they could release events that would they look shoot like stuff out the sky. an alien assault on right. Earth that would stampede the entire world like 9-11 did into fear. Go look at the movie Independence Day. It's a script. See? Another movie. Psychotic man dressed as clown dismembers 75 plus predators? Whoa. He was not playing. Joker, that was no joke. Shit is getting real. It definitely is. Reopen a portion of airspace in Montana that was suddenly closed earlier this evening to support See? Activities. This they up there fighting in the sky. We learned that the U.S. and Canada shot down an unidentified object over Canada's Yukon territory. An American F. 22 jet shot down an object the second such shot uh, see it couldn't have been a, a balloon why would they send that jet up there the, the, one of their best fighter jets to shoot down a balloon lawrence good evening for the third time in a week u.s f-22 raptors have shot down aircraft over and it's probably been more than three that's just three that they had a report US and american history uh we know that the aircraft that was shot down over Canada was shot down at 341 Eastern Time, 1141 uh, local. It was shot down 100 miles east of Alaska in the Yukon Territory in Canada. Earlier, Canada's Defense Minister described what exactly was shot down. Recovery operations are now underway. And What's she going to say it is? By the Canadian Armed Forces in Canada. Which y'all think it is? That they shooting down UFOs. What is it? Like, what is it? I know everybody remembers this famous story posted. Oh snap! By X. Now it looks like Drake, Drake actually has something back to in the do spotlight with his murder. So the alleged murder of X says that Drake and DJ Academics needs to testify at his trial. I think the craziest part out of all of this is that Drake, Six Nine, the Migos, and many more people were heard to be witnesses to the murder. I'm like, how Wait, does what? that make any sense? So it's How, looking like they ain't say nothing about them being there. To the story than what happened. And what makes it even more crazy is that we all received the story like it was only X and then the four people who attempted the right. problem. No, Drake didn't pull the trigger, but he damn near snitching on himself with the lyrics. Drake's Her Laws album, the song titled No BS. Good look here at verse 2. Damn, maybe I should do a 20. Maybe I should break that 20. Do a 10. Maybe I should break that 10. Do a 5. Then if it get live, do that 5 again. This is where it gets me for real. If he held his tongue on that live, he'd be alive again. Damn. And now that y'all got Ooh. the background on it, I'm gonna show y'all the interview that Drake was referring to. Initially, he was supposed to contact one of my managers. So he doesn't do it. That same fucking week, bro. 
I go on to, bro, well, I can't go on Twitter, obviously, because I'm locked up. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the securest phone, you feel me? For this shit. So you in jail, he's supposed to contact your manager, yeah. and then what he, happened? He, I mean, he, he dropped the fucking video of previewing that shit in Amsterdam with some, with some, with some nigga from, uh, from the UK. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He dropped it. He dropped the video. I was talking to mm. him. So now we seeing where the initial beef started from. This was basically saying that Drake so they've been beefing huh? flow and they even give him props credit or even recognize that it was his no contact with the manager anything an accident like that but let's continue to watch actually fuck that it was my dog Chris oh, I was more to my it. Dog, Chris he's like yo you gotta listen to this shit this nigga Drake a fuck nigga that's what exactly what he said he's like this nigga Drake a fuck nigga you gotta listen to this shit so he plays this shit I hear da -da 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 -da. I'm like what the fuck as soon as it started like I knew I knew he was getting that and oh, the thing is, so he, he kind of did take his like said, in. the fans, because the, they're, they're, they're so cold. Like, it's like, I got a piece of the internet, you feel me? So they were saying that Drake was biting your style. <sighs> That's what the fans were saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Flo, hell yeah, bro. You could you could take his verse. Like, they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they, the cadence is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, Culture it's not Vulture. At all. So let's not forget that DJ Academic's name was also mentioned. Here's why I think. This video right here is actually connected to two videos I did about X's death a few months back. In an interview where he went to expose the music industry and how the industry used certain frequencies and vibrations to control y'all minds and emotions. Mm. Y'all go back and watch that whole video. And Everything's on frequencies. Well. After y'all do that, let me know what y'all think about X and Drake being a possible witness. Yo, that's crazy. What y'all think? Y'all think Drake did it? Is Drake the real killer of XXX? Another one. Yo. Even if you've never believed it, people listen think Drake to did these it. mysterious parts in Drake's music. Hey, I like bitch who is your mess. Hey, can't keep my. I gave my bro an advance. Love is just not in my. Voodoo curse. It got Sound just like him. Know the dogs had to hit him. SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the neck. Why you keep on shooting on that live? be alive again. Damn. My uncle said. The trial for X's death was set to take place from January the 9th. On Many rappers besides Drake, including 6ix9ine, Quavo, and Offset, are invited. What do you think about this whole story? Comment your opinion. Yo, it's wild. That I don't know what Drake incident, got going on. Every other incident going hey, Ohio, that's some crazy stuff, and it's messed up what's going on in Ohio. It's crazy how the Baltimore and Ohio was one of the first railroads ever built in America. It makes sense why they would do this. Talking about some derailment when they say it was on fire before it even blew up. Now, mm. all of a sudden, UFOs coming out of nowhere. After for years, they were silencing people, killing people, and all kind of stuff. Facts. You can say nothing. Out, saying that, like, when people would find crash sites and stuff like that. Now four just randomly get shot down. Mind you, China flying balloons over the goddamn Atlantic Ocean. Like y'all really balloons. believe this? So you telling me the balloon flew over Iraq and all the countries that China got probably beef with? A fucking balloon, man. This shit ain't no different from the George Floyd I think situation. I the other way. Just putting bricks out there just for us to use them shit. Just be prepared, man. They trying to do all type of stuff to implement their new world order. They trying to make Americans scared so we could just say, government save us. UFOs mm -hmm. just coming out of nowhere. And be mindful, they still got the Project Blue Beam that ain't even turned on yet now. So I'm pretty Project sure 2023 is a year to seven. So you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff. They trying to implement this order fast. Just be prepared. Like real Kai say, stay dangerous, nigga. And meditate, get your get work, focus on yourself around this time, man. Peace. Facts, yo. That's crazy what happened in Ohio. All them chemicals in the air. It's messed up. Chernobyl 2.0. Our government and the American government? Oh yeah, never mind. How what they think they're doing. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. You know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. You know, that's crazy. 
I mean, don't you agree? You feel me? It's See? not insane, you know. It's not just a bit strange. It's just insane. And that's about and nobody knows all these people in the street. And the, uh, half the people watching this are going to be saying, oh, what's he saying? What's he saying? You know, that you are being run by people who are insane and you don't know. We're definitely being run by some psychopaths. Yes, yeah, sir. Check this out. Oh. Income tax is not legal because it would be a direct tax mm. and it is not apportioned as the Constitution demands. If it's against the Constitution, it's, it's Constitution is just like, so that's a good we have a Constitution if at this point. If income tax is against the Constitution, then why are we doing it? Well, we were told to. And a lot of people only follow and do the things which they were told to do. Just think about it. There's people in their late 30s, 40s, even 50s that still say today that they're not in a position that they want to be with in life because of what their parents taught them. Go to school, get a job, and life mm. will be great. People have lost their way of being independent. Sheeple. Holding themselves responsible for their own lives and going to seek the information that they need to change the situation. As I told y'all before, the curriculum that's given within school is information that they want you to know and not the information mm -hmm. that you should know. So it's up to you to go a little bit deeper. If they're making so much money from pay making people pay income tax, whether it's unconstitutional or not, why would they stop having people do it if the people are not standing up and doing something about it? At the end of the day, businesses are in business to be profitable. And let's be honest, True. they're very profitable. I think it's time for us to start standing up for our rights and not just sitting down at the dinner table with our family complaining about things that's going on in his life. Remember, you only have the rights that you stand up for, and if you don't stand up for your rights, well, you don't have any. It's as simple as that. Follow me for more. Let's go. Uh, what's He's up with some UFOs and balloons? Uh, you believe them people tell you it's a UFO? White. Them people say, hey, it's a UFO up there, and it's a balloon. You believe them? Yeah, I don't believe them. I think they lying. Yeah, yeah, I think they make that Charles. shit. The shit they Me showing too. you in the sky, how it fly from her to China, from China to her. The UFO they showing. That's a good question. Man, listen, Bill Gates I already said, nigga, they can open the sky up and make it look like Jesus come back. Nigga, that's a computer screen. I don't believe Ooh. shit. Them people, man, y'all, man, God, man, that's a goddamn computer screen. Remind me man. of Hunger Games. Them people can, man, they can do anything. So I don't believe none of that shit. Yeah, I don't believe. It. I think they bullshit. I think they lying like a mother. They lying on China. Yeah, yeah, they lying like a motherfucker on China. Man, them people trying to take slavery out the books and erase slavery. So ain't no mm. what they'll tell you on the news today. So don't don't pay that no mind. Get you some money. Wake up every goddamn day. Get you some money. Cause get you some China, money. It's flying shit it. over here. Ain't nothing you can do about it no way. If UFOs is evading this ain't nothing you can do. If so, wake up every day, nigga. Try to hey, have a good look. You got a point. That don't burn your dick. Get you some goddamn money. Have you some money saved up. And nigga, try to have you some fun. But don't pay none of that shit no attention, nigga. They lie and they lying right now about every goddamn thing they telling you. I'm just saying. They be lying about everything, don't they, Charles? They be lying about everything. Get you some money. <laughs> Yo, what is she, a robot? Look at her. Not a real person. <laughs> Facts. Definitely not a real person. I don't know what that was. She looked like a what broken robot. What you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I Wait were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture no way. the process and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Yo, that just blew my mind. That, wow, nothing's real anymore. 
Nothing. That's reality star Todd Crisley arriving at a federal prison camp in Pensacola in a gray Range Rover to begin his 12-year sentence for bank fraud and tax evasion. His wife Julie reported to a different prison 600 miles away in Lexington, Kentucky. Her sentence, seven years. The couple's new Dang. reality is a far cry from their extravagant lifestyle on Crisley Knows Best, their popular show that ran for 10 seasons on the USA Network and showcased the color Southern families fondness for pricey mansions and designer clothes. This is my closet. Luxuries federal prosecutors say that were funded by 30 million dollars in fraudulent bank loans. The Crisleys were convicted Money. after a former business partner Mark Braddock testified against them. He also claimed that he and Todd had a sexual relationship which Crisley denied on his family's podcast. For me to finally be accused of being with a man it would be someone that looked like Mark Braddock. I mean, a toad. I mean, some that looks like a thumb. I spoke to the Grizzlies attorney, Alex Little, today. Did they, they had the opportunity to say their goodbyes to loved ones, to friends? Yeah, before they went in today, they both had the opportunity to speak with loved ones and family and friends, and they've taken that opportunity. You can imagine it's a tough day for everybody, but I think the family remains, you know, very confident that their parents um, will ultimately be vindicated. The Crisleys spent their final weekend of freedom running errands. We asked prison consultant Jennifer Myers what Crisley can expect in his first hours behind bars. My man's Nothing put up to jail in a range. Everything from where he eats, when he eats, when he can shower, and when he can go outside is, is completely not his choice. It's not an easy experience. Chris Lee knows best has been canceled along with the spinoff show growing up. But there's two Trumps. That was crazy. The one in the red ties, the real one. He a clone. One the blue ties, not. There are two yeah, Android. Versus the public version and people see that and then the personal Donald Trump. Perhaps there are two Donald Trumps, but there are two Donald Trumps. Know. There's the one you see on the stage wow. and there's the one who's very uh, cerebral sits there and considers things very carefully there's two trumps y'all and they letting us know right there guessing y'all let me know i am never gonna be the same again after human finding out what i mm. just found out and after watching this video you're never gonna be the same either mm. people eating human meat have y'all ever heard about this the human meat project people mm. for people i Thought this was a joke. Got my stomach hurting. Until I started digging some more and realized this is real and it gets worse. One body can feed up to 40 people. Oh. Together we can end world starvation, overpopulation, and climate change. Why donate? Over time, the human population has increased rapidly across the globe, leading Why to a donate? higher demand for food, especially meat products. With this increasing what? demand, Land for residential areas has become more difficult to find, and emissions from farms have risen every year, making the lives we lead less sustainable. We believe that by donating bodies and or organs, we can make a change by creating alternative meat consumption options while addressing the value of a person's body. <laughs> mm. well, they have this end date where you can decide when you want to go in before you get harvested what i'm gonna pause on this y'all read this. the harvest and here's some meat products that you can choose from <laughs> imagine going into your, your local supermarket let me get two pounds of that shoulder this can't be real this can't be real let me get two pounds of that I'm brain ready to come home whenever just any day now if you want i'm i'm ready <laughs> These people are crazy down here. Facts. I can't do this. This is it's just, this is this is it. This is this crazy. Am I is that is that normal? Do you guys think that's normal? Human meat? What? So now cannibalism is normal? Mm, these people what? wow. Man. First they changed pedophilia to be minor attracted persons and now cannibalism? Eating human Meat? Mm -mm, I can't. I can't. I'm done. That's it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> what are y'all's thoughts on this? Yo, that is crazy. First off, there's no such thing as overpopulation. 
Like everyone's just cramped into these small, tiny sectors and these small cities. That's all. There's no such thing as overpopulation. So that's just an excuse for these people to get their cannibalism on. You know what I mean? Like pff, it's wild out here, y'all. To TikTok. The movie Lucy shows you how powerful your mind really is and here's how. Study shows that humans only have access to 10% of our minds. But this movie shows us how life would be if we had access to 100%. What happens when she reaches 100%? She had them reptile slits. Y'all see that? I have that? no idea. With 100% access to Lucy's mind, she's able to control everything including time itself. She's also able to go deep into her mind and travel to her own thoughts. She can even change her eyes to multiple different species at a time. If you want to see a full video about eyes and what this could mean, be sure to comment part 2. Now I believe that Lucy is a movie telling us what our minds could do if we have full access to it. Because with only 10%, we're still able to create our entire reality. Attract anything we want into our life just by thinking about it. We can literally replay memories and watch our imagination like it's a movie in our head. All with only 10% of our minds. So let me know in the comment section, what would you do if you had access to 100%. I call it cap. I feel like we have access to 100% already. What's the scariest theory known to man? We are actually the most advanced beings in the universe right now and the fear of invading aliens taking our planet for resources is actually just the fear of what we will become. John Douglas, a former chief of the FBI's elite serial crime unit and the author of Mindhunter says, A very conservative estimate is that there are between 35 and 50 active serial killers in the United States at any given time. The general concept no, that crazy. we never really die in our perspective. Each time we encounter a situation where we may die, we continue in a parallel universe when something happens that prevents our death. But we die in the original universe. Essentially, our consciousness lives on by transferring itself to a parallel universe where we continue to exist. So we effectively live forever. There's a theory which states that if anyone ever discovers exactly what the universe is for and why it is here, it will instantly disappear and be replaced by something even more bizarre and inexplicable. There's another theory which states that this has already happened that any computer able to pass the Turing test would also be able to see that it would be a bad idea to do so. Which means there could be a machine right now that could act as a human but is also intelligent enough to not let us know that it could. There's also a That's theory that our sure. universe is in a false vacuum that will eventually collapse and completely destroy or ultimately alter our universe. That would mean that no matter how far we develop, no matter how many planets we've settled, and no matter how many medical feats humanity will have accomplished, we would have a deadline where we would be forever deleted. Follow for more. But why has Jay That's crazy. been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. First off, I'm on Jaguar right side, you feel me? Right 7X in this mug. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster mm. he is. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> not, not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce. Whoa. I tell you this right now. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is free. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh, God, no. Ooh. She better okay. than me. I passed. I made a good choice. If Beyonce is in prison, she's in one of the most expensive prisons ever. Yes, she is. And she's watched 24 hours a day. She's not allowed to make a choice for herself, not at all, not in any way. Oh. People think she has an amazing life. She is told what to say. She is told what to eat. She is told what to drink. She is told what to wear. By whom? She is not, she is not her husband's wife. She is his employee. That's crazy. It's a business arrangement. She was a dowry. He married her and he got to have control of the Houston rap scene behind the scenes. Matthew Knowles handed it over to him and then he fucked daddy over, moved him out the way and took the whole bitch for herself. Mm, no. They were supposed to share that bitch. She going in. Supposed to share. Whoa. But Sean Carter don't share so good. He likes to keep everything all to himself. And anything that he can't move around or move out the way, he'll just remove. I'm tired of you, Sean. That Jacqueline Avon shit, you went too far. You and that fucking demon honeycomb. Y'all had that motherfucker shoot that 80-year-old woman in the back. 
so that you could dope up her husband and move him out the way and claim his spot as the kings of LA, I promise you, you will both fall. Wow. Who's you both? will fall. You killed, you shot Nana in the back. That's mm. how bad y'all wanted it. You murdered an 80 year old woman. So Ooh. you could drug a 90 year old man who didn't want to retire and turn it over to y'all greasy bitches. Mm. Why did God give me this life? Sometimes it's overwhelming. Why did God give me my talent, my gift, my family? But I know you're not supposed to question God. So I'm grateful for the life he's given me. I'm so grateful. I'm alive and I'm living a dream. I'm living my dreams. Hmm. Wow. The world trending news. Subscribe our channel. Yo, that was kind of deep, wasn't it? What do you guys think about that? I'm really not up on that Jay-Z and Jaguar Wright situation, but that right there has got me wanting to dive a little bit deeper, for real. Beyonce looked sad in that last video, didn't she? It's crazy. But guys, these are some conspiracies that you need to know going into this year because this year is crazy. And it's just going to get crazier. But if you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.